said, I did say I would turn this into like a video shenanigans thing. So, all right, let's talk about each and every concept in here that I did actually did correctly. If I didn't do correctly, then it's a bad concept I did. Anyway, let's start with this part over here and we'll go up. So over here, the first thing we did was tape down. Um, actually, I can get the tape right out of, uh, maybe I can't. Um, basically use tape over here to just plaster it, plaster it. Very simple technique. Peel it off later, and you get this beautiful um, rows of columns um, because you, you're coloring in this part over here. Um, actually, this part was also taped in. I made this these two, these four. Um, although there's one problem here where they leave a white line, and over here I had to use a flat brush uh, to go in again and clean everything up. That was a little bit of a pain, but. Do I recommend it? No, I absolutely don't recommend it. Um, second part over here I want to just talk about is texture. Over here, the texture really builds upon here, this part. It looks a lot better in the sunlight, but um, it gives a C look, and I like it. And the reason I, um, if you look at the previous video, it actually used to be some kind of green or something, and yellow, and white, and then red, and then kept on changing colors. It looked horrible. and. For the, what I love about geometric um, um, paintings, geo, geo painting, whatever, uh, is that you can actually just keep on changing it. And I change this like three times and it doesn't look that bad. And I purposely kept the red in uh, because if you look far away, you, you barely see it. If you look over here in the, uh, this distance, it looks okay. And that's one other thing I'll tell you. If it looks good far away, I found out, keep it. Why change it? Over here, I would talk about it. Um, if you were to change it over here, let me get that. This painting over here, the green would not pop up because the outside, the sky would not show because if you want to change it, you, it just becomes super difficult and no one wants to do that. And yeah, it would look ugly. So don't change things without any concern for the another concept you're going to put on there. Another thing, texture. Keep the texture. If it's, not, if it's on the rim, you don't like the texture, just paint over it, it's fine. Uh, but why is it fine? It's because of the texture actually build character over here. Uh, if you look over here, the characters over here, that looks really good. And that's because I messed up the first time. And I said, I, should I delete the texture? No, hell no. That texture is sometimes good, especially when it's in the corner over here, where no one's actually gonna see it. And uh, everywhere else, if it looks smooth over here, you know, it's fine, basically. I mean, not all textures are good. Like the circle thing doesn't need texture. It should not have texture. Um, so I tried to mitigate that with bright, simple colors that can, you know, um, work out for the most part if you look far away. So you can mitigate it if you want to, but I don't see why. I mean, I see why at that point. And also I made some arrows, arrows pointing so your eyes don't move around everywhere. Um, I do want to mention I'm clearly not done with it. I didn't sign it, I didn't do anything so I, um, like that, so it's not final. I have things to change over here and there because it does look horrible. It's such a place to look at that. Uh, look at this part over here. It doesn't look that good. Another major thing I want to talk about is green. You can make green. I made that, those greens. I made this green, I believe, this green. But I did not make this. This is straight out too, but I said, I see a lot of things where they complain, but... Oh, you should use the, you should make your own green when you blue and shenanigans, and I say why why I understand it's conserving paint, but if uh if you have green already on your side why, uh spend it like there's no reason to if you think that green is good just use it I don't see why you wouldn't use it. Um, so if it looks good in the end, who cares how you get it? It looks good. Uh, okay, so another thing I do want to talk about is the boxy texture of this one. This is a box. The, bo the way you get that effect, even in here, is basically just like straight lines. And I messed up over here, kind of. It doesn't look that I'm boxy in this direction that much. Oh well. Another thing I want to notice is a V shape over here, making kind of an angle slide over there, but that's fine. Um, as you can see, I'm just jibber jabbering whatever shenanigans I can think of. And second of all, um, yeah, there's big problems in this painting I can see so far. And some of them are good, some of them are bad. Um, oh yeah, what did I want to talk about more? Um, oh, this one over here. 
finger painting. That's literally finger painting. I literally use my fingers to make those swirls, and I'm really okay with that. And you should too. And I will say this again, as long as you get the final effect, who cares how you did it? And I'm probably going to change a lot more before the final product is actually done. Uh, which is kind of terrifying to actually think about because that tells me this is not done in any light in my own view. So, wait, that's weird. I'm making a video about an incomplete project that I've been talking about it as if it's complete. Eh, who cares? So, yeah, I mean, maybe this was a complete version. An incomplete, complete project that I made. Funny. No, not really, not really, no, it's not funny, it's just shenanigans at this point. Uh, as you can see, if you look at the, my prior shorts or videos or whatever, you'll find that um, certain parts of this was the earlier CGI. I still kept it. Yeah, I still kept this part, this part, this part, some of this part, some of the basic shapes. I regret doing that because, honestly, I'm doing one of the, uh, one of the, uh, uh wait a second. One of those over there, the big thing, that was probably a better idea in here. But I'm stupid, I didn't do it properly. <laughs> uh, I should have planned it out more. Uh, oh yeah, there's also two circles over here. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can spot them, but they're in the background. Oh, that's what I want to talk about. Fun! Uh, first, uh, second, and third. Um, basically... By cutting over here, you can identify what's the first layer, what's the second layer, what's the third layer. By doing this weird effect, you're actually saying this is the third layer, this whole circle over here. There's also a fourth layer in this one, apparently. I mean, apparently in my view. Uh, in my eyes, I see a fourth layer, but that's uh, maybe a fifth layer. I don't know. Anyway, so this is actually the first layer. This, These four over here. The second layer is this one, I believe. Uh, actually... Is it that one? Yeah, kind of. It's the combination of this one too, actually. But uh, as you can see, there's layers. That's all you need to know. I, even though I made this painting, um, layers are something I generally have a hard time talking about because um, well, just look at this. I mean, this could be considered second layer. This can also be considered third layer or fourth layer. Um, uh, and honestly, my view, if it looks good on your eyes, who cares? What, just say it's good. It's good. And no one cares. If in the far side it looks good, then it looks good. I don't see the point in actually going into detail about certain things. Um, this also is done by finger. I love this part because I just literally did this. And the dot with another painting. Um, paint. With another paint, I meant. Uh, I did this with a few of my paintings actually, where I use my fingers. Uh, I don't see the problem using fingers. Some people do, and I say, eh, you're you're making it more painful for yourself. And I think I'm done talking for the most part. Oh, also make sure you use two colors if you want the uh, effect that's more popping, so it actually gives like a higher layer. Because even though over here, over here can be considered the same layer, uh, this actually looks like a more frontal layer because of the shading in the bottom. Um, over here, the lighting doesn't really matter because you're going crazy, nuts and bulky. Uh, but that would matter if you're doing uh, that uh, one of these. See, if you look at this one and see the um, lighting over there, that shows the layer, so you, you can get it. I mean, if you can get this, you can get that. Okay, so with that, it's a. I hope it's a. It's just a nine-minute video.